Guys, what's happening? Out of this barn 35 years ago, Tom worked at a bike shop and he collected a massive collection of Yamahas, mostly XS650s, I think 13 of them or so. And uh, these are the parts bikes out here. We've been pulling these up the hill here. Um, and there's a few left in here. So wait do you see what he's got in here. There's another Yamaha Seika 550. A, uh, probably in 1982, I think. An XS60 Special. A Yamaha DT175. And a Can-Am 125. So let me pull these out of the barn here. And I'll show you all the ones we got up on the hill. Plus an RD350. And, uh whole bunch of cool parts so we got we got the barn cleared out and uh this six has been sitting outside for a while some good parts on it like the headlight bucket and uh front fender and forks triple trees tank but it's actually got a chia pet growing on the seat right here how about that <laughs> this one's uh pretty rough too the ones up top are in much nicer shape yep blinkers are nice on this headlight bezel's good it's got a nice tack on it and uh the ears are good Fork, fork uh, chrome is good. Nice that's, set of mags. That's huge, man. Yep, I told you guys. I told you guys I was born to rescue motorcycles. <laughs> I go to great lengths to make that happen. Watch this one. <laughs> There's a soft spot in my heart for this old Yamaha. Watch me hand lift and rips and I'm pulling my back out. <laughs> Can you grab that seat, that seat cover? It's in still, oh right? shit, I, I rode that thing up sitting on it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna change my pants when I'm done. There's a chia pet, come real close here, look at this. <laughs> There's a chia pet on the seat. Can you imagine that? Unbelievable. But it's got good bones. <laughs> it's got good bones. Yeah, I, did, I guess I did get the chain title on that one. Okay. This, that was the easy part. Now this is the hard part. We gotta pull it up the hill. <coughs> Lordy V. A little dusty in the in the barn. Oh. Nasty in there. The gnats are killing me out here. Well, black flies, they kick your ass. Black flies, they bite too. Might ask yourself why am I doing this well like I said soft spot in my heart for these old Yamaha 650s I had one of these when I was 17 years old I fudged the bank app and said I was 18 and took out an $1,100 loan for one in fact let me can I see the camera I'm gonna show you the one it's this bike right here this very bike so yeah there's a, there's a lot of uh, parts that came with the load but this bike right here kind of caught my eye this is the same one I had when I was a little kid and uh, you can, it's got 30, Tom, you said these were in here since uh, like 30, 33 years, right? That one at least 20. And you started putting them in there back in? Oh, the early 80s. Early 80s. We got a little DT125 Yamaha right here. That's got some good bones on it. Um, Junior's really into these. Well, And we got a Seika 550. Here's the one that was laying in the dirt on its side. Uh, so this is some rough bikes, but there's some decent stuff in here too um all these are all yamaha 650s one two three four five six seven eight nine and this is the tenth one right here this is probably the nicest one right tom well 
that's the one I know runs. This one ran when he pushed it in the barn. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. We'll resurrect it. And then we got an RD2 350 two stroke right here. The fender's there. He's got all the parts to put that back together. Then a Can Am 125. And he's got a 96 CR250, which was one of the main reasons I drove six hours round trip. And now he's having second thoughts on sending it, uh, selling it. So he said he wanted, I offered him $100 more than he's asking for it. So hopefully he'll change his mind and make my trip up worth it. But, uh, yeah, there's um, a lot of good parts in here. And uh, he's included a bunch of extra parts over here. Boxes of parts. So, um, like I say, one man's junk is another man's treasure. And here is the, the 96 or 95 CR250. She's a little rough, but it's all there. I'd love to resurrect this thing if it'll let me. And then he's got an ATK over here, 406, one that he raced for a long time. And Jolly Rogers and some of the other tracks up here in New Hampshire. Tom's got some other friends up here in New Hampshire. They have uh, barn loads of bikes too. So sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. And a guy like this is, that worked at a bike shop knows a lot of people. So you never know what it could lead to. We got 10 on here now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many are left to go? Four. So Tom hooked me up and he's letting us have the CR250, the Jeremy McGrath 96 last year, the steel frame. She's a little rough around the edges, but we'll clean her up. We'll let the, we'll let the wizard do the coon tune on this thing. That's all the RD parts. Yep. Awesome. So Tom, tell us about the, the 250. When did you get this? Oh, about five years ago, maybe six. From a neighbor kid. Did you ride it much? Mm -hmm. Fair amount. Two races, two hair scrambles. Yeah. And some other, just not as much as I wanted to. Did you motocross on it? or No, or hair, hair scrambles. Yeah, awesome. How'd you do? Horrible. Horrible? <laughs> I, I don't practice. I go in there after not riding two years and jump on it. Just send it. Practice, yeah. I mean, I did all right. <coughs> I had great. trophies. Nice. Was nice. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, He's got the ATK yeah. over here, too. American made. Bombardier motor. It's a ripper. Oh, two stroke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 15. 15 bikes. That's a full load. James, I told you this trailer could pack a lot of bikes. 15 bikes. We've been buying, this makes, uh, we we're up to 75, so this makes 85, 90 bikes we purchased in the last week, bringing this to a record week. We've been following us on YouTube. It's crazy how much stuff we've been buying, um, mostly from collectors and dealers, you know, with multiple bikes, like Tom, who, uh, Tom's retiring this year and uh, just made up his mind to liquidate his collection. He's got a beautiful BMW and a brand new Harley downstairs and an ATK, so he's down to three. Great bikes instead of. I'm sad. You had uh, you had 21 bikes. Well, you, know, you had 18 bikes because we, we bought 15 of them. We have points. You don't see points. Anymore. But his now his, his uh, bank account's fatter and his barn has plenty of room. It's cool. And his tractor did a phenomenal job towing us up the hill like nothing. And we got all these cool parts. There's your Can Am motor, a bunch of XS 650 tanks, rear fender, and a two in one pipe. Very cool. And there's more stuff in the basement. Some really nice seats in the basement. Where do you see these things? Where did you find the Holy Grail 1983 XC250 500 seat? I've had it since 83. You were a Husky guy too. I, I was riding Huskies back oh, yeah. then. Yeah, brand, we're and, out two Huskies. So you have a brand new, never out of the bag Never been Husky on a bike. Wow, that's going to come in handy for a rest of the nice. That'll fit on the 500 too, right? I think it does. Yeah, it's same. the same frame, yeah. That's it, boys. We can't fit another Who in Whoville. This trailer is packed. So this is where he keeps the nice ones. And, th and this is why he's not going to cry himself to sleep tonight. He's got this beautiful Harley and this beautiful BMW that he bought brand new. Had it forever. And look at these seats. That's a beautiful Yamaha XS 650 seat. A 650 special seat. And then a custom seat. Very cool. So even the trunk. The bed, bed is full. Tanks, seats, peanut tanks parts everything 
it just keeps coming. And we got a two in the one pipe here. Tom sweetened the deal with this uh, Yamaha owner's manual. Look at that RD250. That is beautiful. The red rims. Click through the pages of it. Man, that's a pretty bike. And there's a 96 CR. That's what she's supposed to look like after we restore. Stay tuned. We'll bring them back to life. So Tom's even sweetening the deals here and throwing in a, he even threw in the kitchen table. And I'm I'm not kidding. They uh, are downsizing and uh, gave me this kick-ass vintage wood wooden table with the big inserts in it. It'd be perfect for Junior. Junior bought the Bixby house and uh, he needs a kitchen table, so perfect. And where there's smoke, there's fire. Tom just hooked me up with one of his friends who's a collector who's got, I'm heading there now, he's got a barn full of old Rickman signs and Triumph signs and he's got about 15 motorcycles, uh, cool old bikes he's got. I went down the list here. He's got, um, let's see, he's got some really cool bikes. He's got a... Uh, um, S2s, uh, some CB175, some 350 Hondas, a TC125, TS185, an A100 Gopher, some really cool vintage iron. So stay tuned. That's my next video. Heading there right now. We're up in New Hampshire. I'm going to stop by Cycle Design. Doug Milliken uh, used to sponsor me back in the 80s. I rode for Cycle Design for one season. And great guy. He's been around forever. And he owns a place called American Trikes. They have trikes there. So I'm going to go there next after I leave here. Talk to Doug. And then I'm going to go uh, hopefully buy that barn load of stuff. So... It'll load up the table, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. So that was a lot of fun. I'm just rolling out of uh, Tom's uh, driveway here now. And uh, him and his lady were super nice. Uh, they gave Kenny a, a table for his for his house, which will be awesome because he doesn't have a kitchen table yet. He's just moving in. And this guy worked his ass off with me. I, I'm telling you, he'd run circles around most guys half his age. We dragged those bikes, 15 bikes out of the barn and dragged them up the hill. Great guy. Uh, good old school biker that's been riding all his life and uh, just decided it was time to let his bikes go to find him new homes. We're going to clean them up and get them out there to all you guys who are watching. Hope maybe you saw something you like on there. Hit us up. Thanks for watching and God bless America.